The weather hasn't been great lately, nor have the sea conditions. It's not raining today, but it's still very windy here on the windward side. I'm not sure when I'll get out and fish again with COVID-19 going on. All the marinas that I launched from are closed. It's all good though, this downtime allows me to make some modifications on my kayak. I want to customize some rod holders. It's going to make fishing more efficient and safer. When it's rough out there, I don't want to have my head down changing rigs. I want to have different rods and reels set up ready to go, and that requires more rod holders. I have to credit Diesel Yak for the design. I searched on YouTube and it's the only template I could find for my Old Town Predator PDL. It'll probably work for your kayak too, you'll just have to make some adjustments and make sure the fittings are the right size for your kayak. This is pretty much everything I'm going to need for the project. I'll list it in the description below, but I'll also go through it one by one for completeness. You'll need one and one and a half inch PVC pipe. I ended up buying 10 feet because it's cheaper than the pre-cut one, and it's nice to have extra if you need it. You'll need two one inch couplers. These parts are going to connect straight to my kayak in the original rod holders, and they will initiate the rod holder. They make up the vertical portion. If you're unsure if it's the right fitting, you can turn it on its cross-section view and it's embossed. You have to verify all your parts before you buy it because people never put things in the right place at the stores. You'll need two one to one and a half inch bushing. I actually bought three and I'll talk about it more later. Three one and one half inch elbows are 90 degree. Make sure they're straight so they're not threaded. Five one and one half inch crosses. One one and one half inch T two one and one half inch 45 degrees a tape measure or something to measure with and a marker to make markings primer and adhesive for pvc a block of wood and a soft mallet to make sure everything's fully seated your ppe a heat gun and a bottle of wine preferably empty we're going to use these two to flare our rod holders the wine has to be from cupcake vineyards in california or else it won't work I also picked up some flat black paint, but you can use whatever color you like. The first thing I'm going to do is cut my one and one half inch PVC pipe into six segments of 10 inch. These are going to be the terminal portions of my rod holder. So I'm going to measure out 10 inch here. I'm using a miter saw to cut my pipe, but you can buy a PVC pipe cutter for about 30 bucks at Lowe's. You'll notice that it's a clean cut. There's no crack or splits because it's thick. If you buy the thin version, it's more prone to UV damage and it's not as strong, so it definitely would have cracked. All these one and one half inch fittings are joined by one and one half inch piping. Makes sense. Now we just have to figure out how much in between. It turns out that all these fittings have about an inch and a quarter that's recessed inside. So we're gonna cut two and a half inches to connect all these fittings. We'll need 10 pieces. Turns out I already have a ruler on my miter saw. I just need to verify it and compensate for the thickness of the blade. You actually want to cut these about an eighth inch shorter than your measurements or else the fittings won't sit flush when you put them together. This will make sense when I'm assembling everything. I ended up just cutting eight pieces and not 10 because the other two on the end here are gonna to have to be cut. The width of this rod holder, if everything sits flush end to end is wider than the space on my kayak. So I know I'm gonna have to make some adjustments on the end. Right now I just have everything loosely assembled. You don't want to push everything real tight or else it may not come apart. I also cut two pieces of the one inch PVC pipe. They are about an eighth inch short of two inches and it's this piece right here. That's gonna go between the one inch coupler and the bushing. The built-in rod holders go out and backwards at an angle. So I might have to use heat to alter the fit here. These 90 degree couplers don't put the crossbar parallel to the ground. From end to end, it's 23 and an eighth inch wide and we're only allotted 20 and an eighth inch. So I need to get rid of three inches. To maintain symmetry and equal spacing between my rod holders, I've decided to cut half an inch off all the places that I have marked. This will give me the proper spacing. Unfortunately, I'll have to go and cut the pipe that's coupling these fittings by the same amount. Made all the cuts and adjustments. Now we need to heat the actual rod holders up and put some flare on them.
Got the rod holders flared. We're ready for primer and bonding. Now that everything is dry, it's time to start cementing these parts together. I've cemented the main compartments, but not entirely yet because I don't know the exact alignment or angulation. So as I figure that out on the kayak, I'll gradually cement the rest. All right, I've got it positioned the way I want. I'm just gonna index these guys so I know how they line up before I cement it. I use my heat gun to turn these 90 degree elbows into more like 85 degrees so that it would fit my yak without straining it. It's always nice to have a heat gun when you're working with PVC pipe. This is pretty much the completed project with these front rod holders here. There's a cantilever effect that happens when you load it so I put some stainless steel screws down for anti-rotation. Make sure they're stainless steel or else they'll rust. It felt nice and snug and as if I didn't need screws but over time it'll move and you don't want to find out while you're on the water. There's just one joint that has a little bit of a gap but overall I'm satisfied with the look and the way that everything fit. I'll just have to live with that gap there. Get this guy off and then throw some paint on there and we're ready to roll. You can't tell me this don't look dope. The literature actually supports a higher correlation between catching more fish and having cool rod holders. So it's definitely worth the time and effort. Well, thanks for watching True the Fisherman. Stay safe, keep fishing, and mahalo. Mm -hmm.